Hey, welcome back to MVP Hot Wheels. This is Diesel Mac, and I wanted to bring to your attention some information about some cars that were made in India, um, but were released in U.S. cards and are fairly abundant. Um, so I see this mistake made all the time. Some people will call these Leos, and there are packaging for these that you know they could say Leo on them, but when they're loose. You know, I wouldn't pay more than five dollars. Well, maybe for the bug, bug's a little bit tougher, maybe up to 10 and maybe you know, 10 to 12 dollars or something like that. But these are US release cars, um, there's a handful of them. Um, so like the inside story and the second wind kind of come to mind again, available in uh, US cards, the mainline cards. This one was available in the uh, 526 package, this one you can see here in 835. and like I said, they're made in abundance, but sometimes you'll come across somebody who tries to pawn this off as loose, as made, you know, as a Leo car, and I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't pay any extra. I didn't call it, I guess, as they want, because it was, you know, could have come from a Leo card, but once it's loose, I wouldn't pay more than $5 for this car. It is very abundant. You could, you know, probably throw a stone onto eBay and and hit one of these things it's just that abundant <laughs> um <clears throat> so like i said this has you know the india base sitting right here um same thing with this one you can see that india on there and like i said these are you know available were sold in the u.s market in plentiful numbers and i just don't want somebody to pick this up and see somebody has a high price of you know even more than ten dollars for this one and and you know trying to you know say that it's a super rare it's not super rare it's not hard to find it's not any of that kind of stuff it is a you know u.s mainline released neat streeter that was you know has a country of origin of india right nothing different than china thailand malaysia hong kong right all of those were you know made in those particular countries but you know put on a u.s card and sold here in the u.s and those don't get any special attention um with the exception of you know potential ones that are rare but that's just a separate you know but this is you know an, an india made car that was sold in the u.s so five bucks this one a little tougher plus it's your volkswagen friends um collectors that like these um so but you can get these again on some india cards because they were manufactured in india but you can get them much easier and if you want them loose i would suggest looking for one well one loose because it's they're abundant and then two if you want it on card you want to open it yourself you know you could find them in u.s cards so i just kind of wanted to bring that out i know somebody has been asking questions i've seen the question asked all the time i've seen them go up on different sites for sale and they you know have high prices i've seen it you know somebody post it and be like you know india neat street or you know 150 dollars and i'm just like you know do i tell them right do they already know are they ignorant to it are they just trying to scam somebody i don't know but i don't want anybody that's watching my channel to get scammed and pay way more than what you want for a car that you can get for a relatively you know low price um the other thing is that this one has um i could talk about too as you can see it has canada right us on oh, no, this one doesn't have it anymore so some of these yeah there you go patented in canada right all that means is it was patented in canada to be able to you know sell for whatever manufacturing reasons it wasn't made in canada and there's a bunch of cars in the early uh time frame they were you know putting patents on them and all that kind of stuff and sometimes you'll see you know patent pending and you know foreign patent you know pending and all that kind of stuff um but it's just the information that's on the base. It's not where it's made when you see it like that. Um, usually it'll have a separate country of origin that's on there. And that, you know, Canada is almost always associated with, you know, patent pending or Canada patent or something like that. So <clears throat> don't think that this car, you know, has two different country of origins. It's just the way whatever regulations it had back then that they had to comply with and they were doing that. And so it has that Canada on the base. Uh, usually that's the only one that you normally see um you used to be able to see like obviously that one had us and foreign you would see us patented or something like that and foreign patent pending or you know there's some combinations that you could find from older hot wheels um but anyways it's just not made in 
you know canada basically um there's lots of cars that were you know canada only released they're not going to have the canada base on them they weren't manufactured in canada they were just brought over and dispersed there in that country so no big deal um but anyways yeah so they there's what i just kind of want to get you know put that information out there i don't want you guys to get burned and uh there are like i said there's a second wind that's available there's an inside story all these cars from you know the mid 90s are going to that have any bases you know if you do your research before you pay for them make sure there's not a u.s release because then you could save yourself a lot of money by getting the car especially if you want to lose now if you want it in a foreign package by all means it's probably going to be a little bit more um for those just because they're more scarce and it's harder you know most a lot of those didn't come over to uh to the u.s and all that kind of stuff so if you want to pay extra for a car that was released in the u.s but in the foreign package right and sold in that in that uh, area also then that's okay but if it's loose don't pay a whole lot for it certainly not leo prices that people are requesting and if you're your friend right kind of point out like hey that's you know just show them on ebay right go to you know number you know neat streeter put in 526 and you'll see that pop up baja bug 835 that one will pop up and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of them available for a low price and then that way you know they're more informed they're not trying to you know people aren't thinking thinking that they're trying to rip somebody off just you know help them get the word out and yeah i think we'll have a lot more fun that way so anyways there's the information about the kind of leos um or made in india cars so thanks for watching if you have comments about it obviously throw those down below hit that like button hit the subscribe button we're working our way to 1000 we're going to be live tonight giving away the ford escort which is an actual leo on a leo card so there's that one and uh we're gonna have fun with that tonight and i hope to see a bunch of you there and that's pretty much it all right thanks guys bye